Uh, my name is uh, Captain Kent Bailey. My last name is spelled B-A-I-L-E-Y. I'm the commander of the Public Affairs Bureau for the Fairfax County Police Department. Uh, foremost, uh, we want to let our community know that this seems to be an isolated, targeted incident that occurred this afternoon here at the gym. Uh, this afternoon, around a little after 1 p.m., officers responded to the 13,800 block of Sunrise Valley Drive for a person who had been shot. Officers arrived on scene and located an adult male who was suffering from trauma to the upper body. Uh, he was immediately transported to a local area hospital where he's pronounced deceased. Preliminarily, detectives from our Major Crime Bureau have determined that both the victim and suspect in this case were both working out inside the local gym. Uh, when our suspect approached our victim in a targeted stance uh, and, and shot him. Currently right now, uh, officers and detectives will remain on scene investigating to determine kind of the facts and the circumstances of the events that occurred, as well as determine the relationship and the motive uh, behind the shooting. We ask anybody who might have been in the area or knows anything about this case uh, to contact our Major Crimes Bureau, as well as to continue to follow us on our social media platform for updates. Uh, pretty common for a gym to have people swipe in, they have a profile. Is that something that this gym utilizes? Do they know who was in the gym at that time? So these are the facts and information and kind of the motive and the circumstances that our detectives will continue to investigate to kind of identify the suspect in this case and again uh, identify the relationship between both. So the suspect is still at large? Suspect is still at large, uh, described as a Hispanic or Asian male, uh, heavy set wearing all black and he was last seen leaving the area on foot. So are you saying you don't know yet if they knew each other? Correct. We're still trying to work to identify the relationship and the motive behind it. But again, I want to emphasize this seems to be a targeted incident uh, where our suspect approached our victim in this case while both of them were working inside, uh, working out in the local gym. Is there a threat to the public safety with this guy at large? Currently, as I said, uh, it an isolated incident, a targeted incident, and then the detectives are still continuing to determine the facts and circumstances leading up to it. Do you know if these two people were working out together on same machines in the same area? Uh, preliminary, all we can say right now is they were just working out in, in the same area. And again, the relationship between both of them is still under investigation. Do you have a weapon? Did you recover a weapon? Our detectives are still looking into that right now. Did uh, any witnesses describe arguing, anything that preceded hearing gunshots? Again, all the facts and information leading up to and after the shooting is still under investigation. But again, I do want to emphasize again, uh, detectives in, uh, will be out in this area throughout the afternoon into the evening. Uh, to determine the facts and circumstances and again we we emphasize that if anybody who was at the gym or in the area during the time of the shooting uh, observed anything or saw anything suspicious of contact or detectives at the major crimes bureau can you say if you have witnesses or surveillance coverage of the incident uh, those facts are still being looked at at this time too and that's one of the uh, uh, one of the facts that we'll be looking into throughout the throughout the afternoon into the evening can you talk at all about the assets you're employing uh, in the search for the suspect uh, currently right now we have uh, assets and resources from uh, our patrol division as well as our crime scene uh, and then other local resources as well. Um, did it appear that the victim had been shot multiple times? All I can say right now is preliminarily that it was just trauma to the upper body. You can't say how many shots were fired? At this time, no, that's still under investigation. Okay. All right, you all, thank you. Thank you, sir. One, one more time, your name? Yes. Uh, my name is Captain Kent Bailey. My last name is spelled B-A-I-L-E-Y. I'm the commander of the Public Affairs Bureau for the Fairfax County Police Department. Do you have an age on the victim? Those are still uh, looking to identify the victim is, uh, and the notify next again is still under investigation. And, uh, adult male. Adult male, yes. Did the victim die on the scene or was he transported to the hospital? He was transported to the local hospital where he was what declared hospital? deceased. Uh, that I don't know, but I can get that back to you and give you that information, okay? All right, thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Hurt your knees, man. Hi there. Oh.